Hi everyone and welcome to this TACView tutorial on controlling the flow of time in TACView. Let's get right into it. Here I am replaying a mission with several objects and events. First of all, you can see that TACView displays a date and time in the top left corner. This is the date and time of your mission in UTC according to your flight simulator or your telemetry file. You can change the time zone at Options Time Offset. Now let's look at the timeline on the bottom. The dark grey spots indicate combat events of the mission, namely weapons release, hits and destruction. To travel along this timeline, you can simply drag the cursor back and forth. You can also hold down the middle mouse button or the left and right mouse button and drag left or right to go forwards or backwards. This is more precise. When you select an object, its own events will be highlighted in blue. Let's see what my friend Virtuose is up to. With the 3D view in focus, press the spacebar to pause or resume playback. Use the left key to go back in time, and the right key to go forward in time. Use the up and down keys to change to faster or slower playback speed. Here's an example of fast forward, and slow motion. Your current playback speed will be displayed in the top left corner. To toggle between your current speed and real time, use the numpad multiplication key. You can also jump to any point in time by double clicking on the time in the playback bar. When displaying a chart, hold the middle mouse button or the left and right mouse button and drag to see what was happening at a certain point in the chart. You can also go to the list of objects and shift click on weapons to go to the point where the weapon was released. And you can double click anywhere in the flight log to go to that event. If you are using real time telemetry and you find yourself desynchronized, press the next arrow button to come back to real time. Press F1 for a list of controls available. I sometimes get asked, why is the date and time showing in the top left corner incorrect? Remember that this is the date and time of the mission according to your flight simulator or telemetry file. To change this date and time, you would need to amend your mission file or your telemetry file. Another common question on this subject is, why aren't my keyboard commands working? Note that the 3D view needs to have focus for the keys to work. Just click on the 3D view to give it focus, then try the keys again. That's all I have for controlling the flow of time in TACView. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know at support at TACView.net. Thanks for listening.